Um, and we almost had to like hightail it out of here because there was a confrontation between two people across the street and one had this massive stick and he was gonna bash the other guy upside the head with it. Follow the yellow brick road. 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 All right, guys, I am at this historical property right here. Um, and I'm sure you've all heard of the Wizard of Oz. Well, Frank Baum, who wrote The Wizard of Oz, actually met his wife in this house. And she was the one who inspired him to start writing down his stories and sharing them with the world. So I guess you could say this house was instrumental in bringing us The Wizard of Oz. So I just took a tour of the house. This wall is going to come out because this is apparently not part of the original. Okay. Well, you bought it out of foreclosure, I was reading, right? Or uh, they. For a dollar. Oh, a dollar? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> now, is there hard one under these carpets? You know, um, I even looked under these. Mm hmm. One of the other rooms I was working one day, I looked under and it was. Oh, really? So, but it's linoleum tile, so it's... Are you going to do anything about that that driveway or that parking lot? <clears throat> um, yeah, the plans are... Now, this is, looks good mm -hmm. compared to what it used to look like. <clears throat> and eventually we're going to... I think we've got another couple of weeks we're going to have another cleanup here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and try and get this all cleaned up because we're figuring... If you get two of us. Wow. Now if I fall, you'll come in here. And you better watch out. <laughs> This is the only one I'm aware of. Yeah, is it safe? Oh yeah, I've been up there. There's a chair up there. Oh really? Can I go? Sure. I'm not gonna like fall yeah. off and die, right? No, I've been up here a couple of times. Oh wow.
there's a nice hole to crawl through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Looks like someone was drinking down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So wore my sneakers. Oh, that's a cool chair. Yeah. Oh. I like that chair. I like junk. I like a lot of junk. Oh, there's the safe. Oh, neat. I wonder how long that's been down here. Good question. <laughs> you know what? It's stained. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way they're going to move this. Oh my there. gosh. There's tons of mail. Oh my. And this thing is just piled up. <laughs> so they were just sticking mail in the slot this and it just. <laughs> Feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, there's a kitty. I wonder if it wants to be my friend. Oh, by the way, this is like kind of a scary area to be hanging out in. There's like Section 8 over there, Section 8 over there. And I'm just cruising around making friends with cats. And um, I have a friend, Ryan, who I met um, through metal detecting. And it turns out that his family is from Chittenango, and my family is from Chittenango, New York. Um, so he's up here for 4th of July, and I'm up here for 4th of July. So he's going to come and help me dig. Anything we find is going to the All Things Oz Historical Foundation. They're the ones who own this property. They're trying to flip it around. So I'm just checking out back here. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I was chasing the cat. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's all paved over because I was like, oh, there must be a privy back there. But it's like all paved. There's a bum around that one. But, all right, let's get the metal detector out and see what we can find. All right, we're out here in the front yard and I got my first coin. I don't think it's terribly old because it wasn't that deep. Let's see. Yep, just a modern penny. Let's get back to it. Okay, we got another coin.
looks like um, a state quarter. 1988, another modern quarter. There is a crazy guy like talking crazy nonsense. Holy sh! Is that a firework? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> and I was recording too. <laughs> so my buddy Ryan showed up to help me dig. Um, and if I can turn the camera here. All right, we got our first decent hit. Something old too, not modern. This hole right here. Got this. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, that's just a light bulb. It's not a light bulb, it's like brass. And it's actually pretty neat. I don't know if it was a pole, but the back is broken. So if you know what it is, tell me in the comments. Um, I don't know how much longer we're gonna last here. There was a crazy man like talking to invisible people like right in that yard, behind that fence. He was like yelling at invisible people. Um, <laughs> like section eight is up there. So, um, I was telling Ryan, if anything goes down, we're just gonna have to jump in the car and quit. Oh, look, Ryan! Looks pretty old. Oh my gosh, that is so cool! Kind of maybe for a knife or something. Oh my gosh! That is really neat! Like a knife handle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's what it looks like. It's like gilded or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sweet. Sweet! <laughs> All right, I just found a blade. There's a lot of super shallow stuff here. Oh, I know, yeah. You kind of have to watch, like, <laughs> the depth. So I don't know if it goes to Ryan's blade. It could just go to a lawnmower. Ready? <laughs> he has a big stick. He's about to beat the crap out of that guy. We got an argument going on over here. We're probably gonna head out. This guy with the big sticks about to beat this other guy. <laughs> Do you want to wait a couple? Of he has a stick. Yeah, he has a stick. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't record any of that. All right, I just found this. It's like a little brass thing. And it's got some weight to it. It's got little divots in there. Yeah, um, Ryan's got the best find of the day so far. Um, we almost had to like hightail it out of here because there was a confrontation between two people across the street and one had this massive stick and he was going to bash the other guy upside the head with it. And so I was like, hey Ryan, I hope you're done with that hole because we are going to have to get out of here like real quick. Um, but then they just kind of like went their separate ways. So we're still here. Um, I don't know how much longer we'll be here. It's really hot now. Um, I'll probably head to my uncle's lake cabin, get in the water, and maybe go tubing, I don't know. But it's just Monday and I'm here until Sunday, so I'm sure we'll find more goodies. That's the Wicked Witch. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. 